The power of the White House can often be seen in terms of impacting the demand for the food we eat. Not too many years ago, we had a president who said, yeah, there were some vegetables he didn't like. These days, the first lady is embracing all of them, it seems. And the producers appreciate it. Patrick Haggerty has the report this weekend. Michelle Obama has a fruit and vegetable garden on the White House lawn as a symbol of her mission to increase America's consumption of fruits and vegetables. Producers see her efforts translate into more revenue for them. Well, Mrs. Obama's words about everybody needs to eat more fruits and vegetables have also been translated into action and into policy. And we uh, now have new school meal regulations, which are going to double the amount of fruits and vegetables that kids will have at school lunch. And, and part of that new school lunch will be kids will have a fruit and a vegetable. So you just think about her commitment to increasing kids' consumption and how she's use that passion to really transform school meals so that they're going to have more fruits and vegetables for kids. Of course, American producers are always looking for ways to increase their revenue by providing consumers with what they want. For our industry, they're particularly looking at what fruits and vegetables do kids like and also value-added. How can they put um, value-added fruits and vegetables into smaller packages that are ideal for kids to have at school lunch or at school in the Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Snack Program or for parents to buy to take home for kids as snacks at home. So our industry has really responded very positively to this focus on kids eating more fruits and vegetables. Producers of fruits and vegetables are thrilled having such a high visibility advocate. It's been great to have an advocate in the White House for our industry, and we certainly think that it translates to greater awareness about not just the nutritional benefits, but how they, people can change their daily consumption, making sure that fruits and vegetables are part of their daily diet and on their shopping list every time they go to the grocery store. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack agrees. A high-profile advocate puts money in producers' pockets while also making Americans healthier. Well, sure, every time you increase market opportunity, you're increasing uh, income opportunities. Uh, you're increasing... Uh, the desire for uh, those products, you, you're making uh, more competition for those products and we're certainly doing that in the school lunch program. Uh, in the school breakfast program we're talking about more fruits and vegetables. Uh, I think the military is looking at adjusting the meals that they prepare for the military. This is the fresh fruit and vegetable garden here at the Department of Agriculture. Just four blocks over there is the fresh fruit and vegetable garden at the White House. And the United Fresh Produce Association is thrilled that the First Lady of the United States and the Secretary of Agriculture are saying buy the products our members produce. At the Department of Agriculture, Patrick Haggerty, This Week in Agribusiness. It is obviously a powerful endorsement. I would imagine producers of some other products, such as our pork and beef and poultry, would love to have similar endorsements from the First Lady.